Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. We have just turned 20 minutes before the hour on this Monday morning. Good morning, everyone. Before we take a look at our air quality map, let's take a quick review of where we are with uh, where those air qualities are, at least by way of an explanation. If you're at 100 particles or less, you're considered in a, a fairly safe zone. You get over 100 and it becomes unhealthy. Uh, 100 to 150 is uh, slightly unhealthy healthy for and that's for sensitive groups primarily and then from there it just worsens well we just about have everything on the map this morning the yellow areas that you see are moderate the orange are unhealthy for sensitive groups and this cluster of red right at bend is unhealthy uh, we have thick smoke here this morning. We have all morning long. And the farther south you go, the thicker it gets. By the time you get to Lapine, we're looking at very unhealthy conditions. We're actually anticipating a little bit of relief from this today as northwesterly winds pick up to 5 to 15 miles per hour and for some gust as high as 20 miles per hour. We'll see our smoke forecast here in just a moment. Well, this morning, scattered thunderstorms and showers all across the nation. Nothing quite compares to Tropical Storm Fred that is making landfall as we speak from Panama City all the way over to Tallahassee. This uh, storm is going to drop a lot of rain and it'll work its way inland from there. Here in the Northwest, we're now just now starting to feel the effects of a low pressure center that's moved into British Columbia. It brought a little bit of rain south of the Canadian border into Washington and this hint of rain that uh, moved into Idaho out of Oregon. After that, we're left under fairly clear skies here this morning. This storm is actually going to move off to the east and southeast, and as it does so, it'll bring us a few clouds over the next couple of days, but the big thing you're going to see will be much, much cooler temperatures. We could use the rain, but we're not going to see much of that. Smoke will clear gradually throughout the day. Some areas Areas through Redmond, Prineville Sisters will see the greatest portion of that. South of Bend all the way down through Crescent, Chamalta and that area likely to stay fairly smoky today. Uh, that wind is being brought to us by this system in Canada. It'll bring these showers across the northwest. Unfortunately, we don't get much of the rain. We will benefit from a lot of this cooler air coming out of British Columbia down the coast into our region. The rain, unfortunately, will be all to our east and we won't get a hint of that. We may get a scattered shower or two across the northeastern corner of our state and that's going to be about it. Currently, temperatures are not too bad, low 50s to low 60s for most. We are headed for the mid to upper 80s. Now, keep in mind, we were in triple digits yesterday, so this is a big improvement. We will be much cooler as we get through the middle of the week. We'll settle into the mid 80s with plenty of sunshine for the rest of the week and into the weekend.